Hi everybody, Casey Zander here and in today's video I titled this the male self-improvement journey and I want to really make this video a heavy hitting highly you know not even motivating but highly just content driven piece of material that will hopefully last on my channel for a lot of years and will hopefully hope <laughs> hopefully hope, hopefully help hundreds of thousands of people who watch this so there's a few categories I'm going to dive into. The first is going to be the mind, and I'm going to be explaining my entire mentality and mindset ever since I was 18 to 19 years old. The second is going to be what is the true cornerstone of success and how you actually manifest that for yourself. And then the third is your, your own dating life and how you synergistically combine these to have the best lifestyle for yourself today the best you can with what you were born with. So without further ado, let's dive in. The very first category we must discuss is the mind, okay? These are going to be adaptive principles that you must ingrain into you, okay, into your heart of hearts, into who you are, and I'm going to explain why by the end of it. The very first mindset you need to adapt is that there is no excuses, okay? If you are trying to improve in life, if you are trying to get to where you want to be, nobody cares about your successes or your failures. And ultimately, every excuse you make for why you did something or didn't do something is to alter your perception and your emotion of your feeling. But regardless, when your head hits the pillow at night, you either did it or you didn't. So like you really need to let that sink in. My whole life was lived this way. Like, especially my first love was fitness and in the gym with working out, like no excuses. Like if I'm here, here's how I looked at it. If I took, if I had a, in, if in one month I missed four workouts, that's four workouts that I not only missed that month, but it's four additional workouts I could have done the next month. So you see, it's not just the cost of inaction. It's actually what it costs you in the future by not doing these things. The second mindset you must adapt is there is no victim mentality. Okay. You're not owed anything. You're not a victim. Okay. If you can adapt this mentality, the cool thing is you can finally start to take ownership for your own success in life. And that's extremely needed. The second you victimize yourself based on your own circumstances, you've already lost because you think that you are shortchanged. So the, the, the really hard part and the sad part about this is that if you victimize yourself at age 22, and let's say you live to be 85, well, that means you have a span of 60 years that you could have lived a certain way, but you chose not to all because of the belief that you sold yourself in your own head. Life doesn't work that way. The third is you have to have no sympathy for yourself. If you were born with a short, you know, like short handedly in certain areas, you can't have sympathy for yourself because it doesn't help. The only thing that will help is you taking action. And the only thing that will help is when your head hits the pillow at night, you completed the things on that day that you wanted to do, regardless of how you felt. And that's truly the only way to get ahead. Now with this comes a desire to win. You have to tell yourself, hey, come hell or high water, I'm here to win, I'm here to crush it, and I know I'm going to crush it, and no matter what, nothing's going to stop me. And last but not least, you're willing to do what it actually takes. This right here has served me in business, this has served me with dating, this has served me when it comes to building my body in the gym, it all synergistically ties together, you actually become strong. So, you might be wondering, Casey, this mindset that you adapted, it seems very foreign to me since it seems so sec, it's so not first nature, it seems second nature, like it, or it, it seems so far off from how I live. How do you do this? Well, the way you do it is by understanding what the cornerstone of success actually is. The very first thing that you have to do to develop this mindset with the cornerstone of success, in my opinion, is to develop a strong body. Every single person in my entire life that I have ever met that actually has a strong body, not only are they willing to go the extra mile and not give up, but they understand the dedication and the sacrificial habits that it took to build that strength. Okay. The biggest reason why they're so good in other areas in life is because they actually have structured learned progression. This is something that your parents can't teach you. This is something that your teacher can't teach you. You have to teach this to yourself. So when you start on the incline bench press, right? And you do 135 pounds for five sets of five, 
pretty soon that becomes 155 pounds for five sets of five, and then 185 pounds for five sets of five, and then 225 pounds for five sets of five, and so on and so forth, you learn progression. This right here, this learned progressive overload is what carried me into making 5K a month, and then 10K a month, okay, and then 10K a week, right, and then 50K a month, and then 100K a month plus, and so on and so forth, you, you up yourself across this ladder, Okay, you move across the ladder all because you have progression. When you develop the body, you actually develop real confidence. Okay, if you started benching 90 pounds and now you're benching 180, you have doubled your strength. Therefore, you double your confidence and your internal grit that it took to get it. So once you have this under control, and I'm not going to lie to you, this will probably take you two years, three years of consistently progressing. Once you do that, you start to fortify a strong mind because you consistently outperform, meaning it's five o'clock, everybody on a Friday, everybody went to go drink beers and said you had to wait until 7.30 because you had to go get your workout in and then eat your food. Stuff like that. Dedicating yourself to a regimen and to a routine is one of the fastest ways to get ahead. This fortifies a strong mind. And then once you have this strong mind, here's the big deciding factor you're gonna have to go down. Okay, and this is regarding your financial success, and this is only something I recently learned probably within the past couple months. Everything in life is hard, you just get to pick your hard. So here's what I mean. If you choose to exercise your mind and get ahead financially, you have to understand that it will be psychologically taxing, and this will make you rich. Because the only way to truly get ahead in life, the only way to have exceptional results is you have to be smarter than most people or all people in a couple key areas that the rest of the marketplace is underserved in. So if you choose to advance in things that are psychologically taxing, makes your head hurt, makes your head think, makes your head second guess itself if you're gonna get ahead or not, this in the long run will make you rich. However, if you are not the type of person that enjoys that, you are going to probably work jobs or work careers that are physically taxing, okay? And it's not going to be rich. It's not going to make you rich, but it will be a different type of hard, okay? I hope this makes sense. You pick your hard, okay? If you choose and you choose you want to have financial abundance, you will not be working extremely hard physically, but your mind will be pushed to the limits. The self-doubt will creep in. You'll wonder if you will fail. I have found myself that the only way I've been able to consistently push in business this way when most people haven't is due to the fact that I learned how to develop the body first, apply this progressive overload structure that I learned in the gym specifically to my business. I know that that sounds insane, but for me it works. And I know that I can inspire you and hundreds of thousands of others on this channel to have it work for yourself as well. When you carry this over into your dating life, okay, you're developing, you're on this journey, maybe you're in your early 20s, your late 20s, your 30s, doesn't matter, okay? Here's what you have to do. You have to make your own value first. I know that that sounds like a really foreign concept to a lot of people, but think about it for a second. The value that you have or the value that you're growing is what you bring to the table. So you have to think about this from a, from a standpoint. When guys go down the route of learning advanced female nature or learning game, learning how to speak and communicate in a more seductive manner, will that work and get them short-term results? Yes. But here's how I like to define this. You have the product, okay? And then you have the pitch. So game seduction, speaking the right language, that's your pitch, that's your sales pitch. And that can sell a product. In the long run though, you need a good product and the product is you. What that person's buying, what that person's spending time with, what that person's investing in is actually you. It's a heck of a lot easier to pitch a really good product than it is to pitch a really bad product. That's why I truly advise you to make yourself the most valuable option you can. I truly advise you to maximize what you can in the gym, maximize what you can with your diet, right? Set your life and ecosystem up financially so you can live really well. That's the only way to truly advance. So the things that have kept me happy and healthy, like for example, this, this past couple months I invested in like a $6,000 sauna, 
Okay, I know that I've said that before on a couple other videos, but like for some of you, that might sound like a really big purchase. For me, it really wasn't, but the reason why it wasn't is because I've done all of this dedicational habits for so many years that now doing something like that's very easy. And what does this do? This relaxes me, it helps keep me more healthy, right? It helps keep my skin looking better, I'm less puffy. So things like that, you can only do that if you truly chase excellence. When you make yourself valuable first, you develop a beautiful thing and it's called options. Options prevent you from being in a scarcity mindset. So if a woman you're dating were to exit your life, if a person you're dating is to exit your life, right? They leave, well guess what? That's okay. Because you know in your heart of hearts that you can generate options. And you know that all it will take is maybe a couple tries of saying hello to the next you know, person and they're going to think that you're really incredible as well. When you do this, I don't wanna call it arrogance, but to an extent you can really live your life in a happy format because you know that you're desired by other people. And I think that that's every, every single man watching this video needs to know what that feels and tastes like just for a second. And the only way to do it is by doing this work that I'm showing you. Most of us were not born six foot five. Most of us were not born with an inheritance of $50 million. Okay, so most of us, our status is built and that's why the next thing you have to do is you have to develop status. You might be wondering, well, how do I develop status? Do I make a cool Instagram? Do I become known in my local community? It really doesn't matter. What matters is that you're doing something. Status in any area is better than no status at all. Go for the low hanging fruit. If you're a real estate agent, make it your goal to have your face on every single billboard okay, in your hometown. That's status. Like it doesn't have to be anything incredible, just choose to level up. And the more you level up, the more you're known in an industry, the more that you're known for something you do and the more you chase excellence, the more you're gonna develop natural status for yourself. Now, once you do this, here's the funny thing. You will still be tested, okay? You're still going to be tested by people. What I advise you to do is I advise you to have boundaries regardless of beauty. So if you show that you're willing to walk away from an interaction, this shows strength and this shows true masculinity, especially if the person that you're speaking with or having a relationship with you find extremely attractive and that person probably has never been turned down or rejected in their entire life, you having backbone and boundaries to know what you actually deserve out of somebody and in an interaction will actually raise your attractiveness in that other person's eyes instead of decrease it. So these are just some of the mindsets and beliefs that have truly served me well. And these are some of the mindset and beliefs that I know will actually serve you well. So with that said, here's what I can advise you. The way that I've gotten to where I'm at today is through mentorship. I've had mentors before me. And the only reason why I can stand before you today explaining this business success, explaining the career success, explaining anything is due to the fact that I've consistently invested in myself. With that said, I have a couple different mentorship options for you. The very first thing that I advise all of you to do is hop into the MBT masculinity blueprint accelerator before the end of quarter two enrollment. That's the first thing. The second thing, if you're looking at working with me on a more one-to-one -one extensive basis, I do have a few seats open for the full stack one percenter program. You can go down below and book a call with my brother Cole for that to see if you qualify and how I could help you. And last but not least, we're coming out with some merchandise within the next 60 days. On this channel, I'm gonna show you some t-shirts. I'm going to show you different things that you can do so you can be part of Headman Nation as well because I know a lot of you have been wanting that. I'm going to show you it's very limited supply. I don't know how it will do, so I only have roughly 30 to 60 in each size, and I can't wait to show you guys that over the next few videos. So hit the like button, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.